estampa. Estamos aquí en, en Tampa, en donde se está realizando una convención donde estará presente el señor eh, JP Morgan Chase, a quien le venimos a darle a conocer las condiciones en las que nosotros los trabajadores estamos laborando en su edificio en Miami. Él es dueño del edificio Suris Financial Center de Miami y venimos a hacerle saber cómo nos está tratando Yantrex, que es la empresa con la que él tiene el contrato para la limpieza de este edificio. Nosotros nos hemos esforzado por mantener ese, ese edificio en buenas condiciones, limpio y saludable para que sus inquilinos y todos los clientes que visitan el edificio diariamente se se sientan cómodos y es por el, pero nuestro salario no ha sido reconocido el trabajo de nosotros no ha sido valorado eh, eh, en su verdadero nivel y eso es lo que venimos a pedir aumento de salario of communities and investments stop. So after, many of you know, after Jamie Dimon um, came out with the fact that they had lost two billion, he said, you caught us with egg on our face, right? So we're now going to get in the style of gambling. We're gonna roll some dice, play some bets. And at the end of the day, Carmen is the first one who is going to throw that two billion dollar egg at Mr. Jamie Diamond's face. So step right up. Our brave yeah. Carmen is gonna do it first. Ready? Oh, perfect. No? Well, you know what? You still get an egg, cause that's how Vegas style baking. We got more eggs, don't worry. Do it for all the people that have lost their homes. Yes, Ready? Oh, there you go! Perfect seven! You got the egg. What's the egg? What's the uh, dice? Excuse me, sorry to interrupt. Yeah! What's next? Don't drop the egg. My name is Joe Jay. We're here at Chase shareholder meeting here in Tampa. I work for Florida Consumer Action Network. Uh, I'm involved with Occupy Tampa, involved with Awake Tampa. And we're just here today to let Chase know that we don't approve of their practices. We don't approve of their lending practices. Uh, we don't approve of their investment practices. A lot of people are really struggling right now. A lot of people are you know, upside down in their homes. The job market's bad. Um, tuition's gone up. And all these problems can be traced back to the behaviors of these big banks. I mean, they're the driving force of our economy. And what they do, ripples out and affects everything. If we don't get out and let them know that we're angry and start doing stuff about it, then nothing will change. My name is Marilyn and I'm with Occupy Orlando and I'm here protesting J.P. Morgan. We say fight back! We say fight back! The, the, they've caused this economic disaster with the subprime loans and, and betting against their own loans and, and it pisses me off. There's people losing their, their houses and unemployment and financial disaster and it's not just them, it's Bank of America and Wells Fargo. I mean, they're all in the big banks. Corporate greed and political corruption. The language has changed. Even the last day of the union that President Obama gave was worded differently. When he first started talking, I thought, God, it sounds like it was written by an occupier. We're here to just raise awareness to the public, and people are talking different. They're starting to notice things. Who's got the power? We got the power! Bueno, yo estoy muy...
muy emocionada, muy contenta, porque recibimos respuesta inmediata a la petición que nosotros traíamos. Vamos, contestaron rápido nuestras peticiones. Entonces, bueno, esperamos que el trabajo siga y esperamos que triunfemos pronto. Sí.